guys. So today I'm going to teach you just some basic fundamentals you need to set a strong foundation to learn how to play the guitar. Uh, I've been playing the guitar since I was about six years old. I've had three different instructors and I've really loved every single second of it. I think the guitar is just a really great smooth classical instrument and it's just really interesting to learn how to play with you know just all the different movements uh, for the hand. And it's a great thing to teach the younger generation coming up because you know most kids are interested in the guitar and it, you know it'd be great if you could teach them just some basic things that they would need to you know carry on in their experience with it. Uh, just some basic fundamentals. Buying a guitar, you can find great deals online. That's where I personally buy them. I go, I just buy them off of Amazon. Um, this is a Johnson guitar. It's really sturdy. I've had this guitar since I was about 10 years old, and it plays great to this day. There's, um, you know, not a lot of chips or anything on it, so it's still in really great shape. Just shows you its durability. Um, just some really quick, just basics you need to when you actually start playing. Holding the guitar, you want to make sure that you're just uh, comfortable at first. You know. You, my arms rest as comfortably on the base of the guitar, uh, enough to where my thumb is over the sound hole, which is this right here, because you don't want to strum down here. It's going to give that really weird peg sound because these pegs are holding the strings in, and it, they're not loose enough to create an actual sound wave. So you want to do it to where it's loose, right over the sound hole, and that's where you're going to strum. Uh, these metal bars right here on the neck are called frets. So this is first fret, second, third, and fourth fret, and so on. So when you're reading tablature, which is sheet music for the guitar, you're going to see it referred to maybe six string uh, first fret. So there's six strings, and it's going to read like this one, which is down here. So the bottom one is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So those are the six strings. So if it says six string first fret, I'm going to hold it like this just to show you that's this string right here. So that's how, that's how you're going to read sheet music, which I'll get to in a second. Now, first thing you need to do when you actually get the guitar, guitar is tune it. So on the fifth fret, this is called an easy man tune. So the fifth fret, you're going to come down here, and you're going to hold the sixth string on the fifth fret, and you're going to hit it. Now you're going to hit the string below it, which is the fifth string. If you see, it makes a similar sound. I kind of hit it too hard that first time, but it makes a similar sound when doing that. Now you can do that all the way down. Now for the th uh, third string, though, you're going to have to go over to the fourth fret, and then hit the next one down. See, so all the strings to the next string down sound pretty much the same, so when you actually play a note, you can tell if it's tuned or not. Sounds pretty good. So that means it's tuned. And it's not, it, there's different ways to tune it, but that's just a really quick, easy way so you can learn how to play. So moving on to the actual um, playing part of the guitar, which was what I'm here to talk about today, is we're going to start out with the G chord. Now the G chord, we're going to use our ring finger, and we're going to go up to the sixth string on the third fret. So the third fret with this first dot on the neck, with this finger, and you're going to hold that down. Now, notice where my thumb is at. It's rested on top of the neck of the guitar, not touching any strings. You don't want it leaning over. It's going to get in the way of playing. So you want it resting right here, not touching any strings. You're going to put your ring finger on the third fret, sixth string, your middle finger on the fifth string on the second fret, and then your index, or I'm sorry, your pinky finger is going to go on the first string of the third fret. So my index finger is off to the side, just hanging out, not doing anything. This is called a G chord. Now, if you notice this, what this chord does, it teaches you great spacing on the neck of the guitar. Because you have your two uppers, you have one lower, and it's really you know, stretching your hand out to where it covers the full neck. Now what the next chord is going to do is called the C chord. And it is going to, you're going to move these two fingers down, so you're uh, ring and index finger, or middle finger, are going to go down one string. So now my uh, ring finger is on the fifth string, third fret. My middle finger is on the fourth string of the second fret. And my index finger is going to go on the second string um, of the first fret. So what this is, is more of a middle bass chord. It covers the middle of the neck of the guitar, um, unlike the G covering the top and the bottom. So we're going to go and hit this. So that's a C chord. So we're going to go G to C. And now we're going to go down to what's called the D chord. The D chord, as you can see how it's set up, is you're going to have your index finger on the third string of the second fret. Your middle finger is going to be on the first string of the second fret. And then my ring finger is going to be on the second string of the third fret. So this is a lower bass chord that's going to teach you how to play these, uh, these smaller strings 
to the bottom of the neck of the guitar. So that's the D chord. Now if you practice this and you go up and down all over just like uh, most most players do, which I did as well, you just So you just it's going to teach you great spacing all over the neck of the guitar and that's going to really set you up to learn all of the other notes for the guitar. Um, so that's just that's basically it. Those are the basic fundamentals you need. Just make sure to hold it up straight to where it's rested against your chest, not leaning in some crazy way. Make sure to play all of your chords over the sound box or just, you know, a little off, just not close to the pegs or it's going to give you that really weird sound. And once again, just practice those chords just over and over again. And it's going to really set you up to learn the rest of the guitar. So guys, thank you so much. really hope you enjoyed this and I hope you get out there and start learning how to play and hope you enjoy as much as I did. Have a great day.